Hello, welcome to Ms. Henderson's digital photography class. Today we are going to learn about the free transform tool. I have two files already opened here, exercise 6b and exercise 6a. Uh, what we need to do if you read the exercise 6 instructions is we're going to take this patch and put it in the corner of this painting. Let's compare file sizes first of all. Um, Samantha's painting here is 269 by 360 pixels tall, and this patch over here is 289 by 288. Um, so one of the things you can do is this will not fit inside of here. It will be a little bit bigger. Um, so one of the things we need to do is make this a little bit smaller. So let's change the image size just a bit before we um, bring it together. So I'm just going to change it to about 200 pixels. Oops, I did the wrong thing. I want to change the image size for both of them. Constrain proportions. There we go. Now it's working. Constrain proportions must have been off. All right, so now that I've gotten this a little bit smaller, I'm going to select all and copy. Uh, using my keyboard shortcuts, what I just did was I selected all, control A, and then I copied, control C. All right, and now I'm going to put it right here by going edit and paste or control V. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so I can see what I'm doing. All right, so I know over here in my layers palette that I have two different layers. Uh, one is the patch and one is the waterfall. And I want to make sure I'm on the patch layer because I want to move it down here in the corner. Now I have two things. We need to rotate this. We need to rotate the patch and then we need to erase the background. So let's free transform. Again, I'm making sure that my active layer is the patch, which is called layer one. You can title the layer if you wish. All right. So I hit edit, free transform. And as you can see, there's these blue squares that are here. And if I, if you take your mouse, put it in the corner, you want to change it from the diagonal line to the round line. Okay, so there you go. It's round now. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to rotate it. And once it's where I like it, I'm going to hit enter. All right, so I'm going to hit enter. And sometimes the computer asks me, are you sure? Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. All right, so I like it where it is. Oh, that background is horrible. So we learned a little bit earlier about the magic wand tool. So the background is pretty much the same color. So I can click and see if it's going to select all the white. Well, it's not. So I know I need to change my tolerance. Sometimes you need to turn it up. Sometimes you need to turn it down. So let me see if I can turn mine up. What will it do? Sometimes you have to turn it off. So I'm going to set deselect all. Okay. Again, my magic wand tolerance 25. Eh, that's a little bit better. I'm still missing this on the side. Um, I know I can hit my shift key and the little plus sign shows up by my magic wand tool. And I'm going to try to get that, that corner. Yeah, I've pretty got it the best way it's going to get. So let's hit. I hit the backspace key and it went away. Yay, background's gone. So I'm going to edit, deselect all, and then I'm going to zoom in to see if I did a good job or not. Um, I'm going to toggle this layer on and off. Uh, let me move my navigator. All right, well, obviously there's this little white line here. And I'm not too happy about that. So let me zoom out a little bit. All right, so let's take... I obviously don't want to turn this in because I would not get an A with these uh, things over here that should be that should not be there. All right, and again, there's this gray over here, so I'm going to use my eraser tool and move in. Um, I can sometimes, if it's a good day and your computer is being nice, you can hold down the space bar and it will turn into a hand. So my eraser tool can turn into a hand tool. Now, if the computer is being really laggy and it's not having a good day, sometimes doing that will crash the entire system 
And if you haven't backed up any of your work, you're tough out of luck. Um, so sometimes I advise that, sometimes I'm not. Eh, I don't like that. I didn't think I did a good job. Let me undo that. So I undid that really quickly by hitting Control Z. Okay, I think I kind of like that. Let me go down a little bit. Let me toggle the layer on and off. Remember, in this class, craftsmanship, if stuff is clean and looks good, is something I really look at from um, for grading purposes. All right, this looks good. It looks clean. The patch is right side up. It's in the corner. Eh, I don't know. I might make it a little bit smaller. Let's free transform it again. I think the patch is too big. All right, so I want to make sure it doesn't get stretched. So I'm holding down shift and control at the same time. Now I'm going to move it. I like that much better. That looks much better. Don't you agree? All right, so we are done. Let's save this as a JPEG. Remember, we're going to save this as a JPEG. If um, I was going to work on this a lot, and it was a really big project worth 100 points, I would definitely save it as a PXD file and a JPG file. But for right now, it's an exercise. Um, let's call it, let's, let's make it a JPG exercise six done. Let's put this at a, it's a very super small, this is a very small file. So I definitely want to save it 100%. Do not need to make it any smaller. All right, so we are done. I'm making sure I'm saving it to my photography folder. Yes, I'm in my photography folder. I'm verifying that it's a .jpg extension and I'm gonna hit save and we are done. Ready to turn that thing on Canvas. Get 100 points. Go Vikings.